We're going to solve these five equations involving the natural log, and in doing so, we'll see some of the common strategies we have to employ to solve such equations. Beginning with number one, we have that ln x minus ln two equals zero. If we add the natural log of two to both sides, then we have ln x equals ln two. And we can use what's sometimes called the one-to-one -one property of the natural log function, meaning if the logs of two things are equal, ln x equals ln2, then those things, the inputs, have to be equal as well. That is, x equals 2, just as you would expect. In problem 2, we have that ln x equals 5. In this problem, we have a single natural log that's all by itself, so we can easily exponentiate both sides of the equation to cancel out the natural log. Remember that e to the x and ln x are inverses. So that looks like this. We exponentiate the left side, so we have e to the ln x, and we exponentiate the right side, so we have e to the 5. Now on the right, that's just going to stay e to the 5, but on the left, e and ln cancel out e to the ln x is just x. And so we have that x equals e to the power of 5. In problem 3, we have ln of 4x plus 3 equals ln of 2x plus 9. In this case, we just have two natural logs that are equal, and so again, their inputs must be equal. Hence, 4x plus 3 must equal 2x plus 9. Surely, you've solved things like this a million times before. Just subtract 2x from both sides, and subtract 3 from both sides. Then on the left, we have 2x, and on the right, we have 9 minus 3, or 6. Finally, dividing by 2, we have that x equals 3. One thing we need to keep in mind is that our solution, in order to actually be a solution, it has to be in the domain of the original expressions. For example, x equals 3, we can plug into this natural log function. The natural log of 12 plus 3 exists. Similarly, the natural log of 6 plus 9 exists. So this is a valid solution. But keep that in mind, checking the solution is in the domain for this next problem. Here in problem 4, we have ln x minus ln x plus 1 equals 2. You may be tempted to add ln x plus 1 to both sides to move it over to the right. But because we have a non-zero constant over there, that's not going to end up working out quite as nicely as it did in previous problems. For this problem, it might be easiest to just use our log properties. The natural log of A minus the natural log of B equals the natural log of their quotient. A divided by B. So we can use that to rewrite this as a single log function. The natural log of x divided by x plus 1 equals 2. Now we have just a single log function all by itself, so we can exponentiate both sides. On the left, that would just cancel out the ln, so we would have x over x plus 1. And on the right, we would have e to the power of 2. Now we can multiply both sides by x plus 1 to get that x equals e to the 2 times x is e to the 2x, and e to the 2 times 1 is, of course, just e to the 2. Now we're just trying to get x by itself, so let's subtract e to the 2x from both sides. Thus, we have 1x minus e to the 2x's. That's just x times 1 minus e to the 2. That's on the left side, and then on the right, all we've got left is that e to the power of 2. Now we can solve for x by dividing both sides by 1 minus e to the 2. So x equals e to the 2 divided by 1 minus e to the 2. But recall, e is 2 and change. So e squared is definitely bigger than 1, which means this denominator is negative. Since the numerator is positive, that means this x value as a whole is negative. And that's a problem. 
it turns out that we can actually plug this x value into this. We can plug it into the natural log of x over x plus 1 because the numerator and denominator would both be negative, and so the negatives would cancel out. Natural log of a positive number is definitely defined. So this x value does make this equation true, but that's not the original equation. This is the original equation, and x doesn't make sense for this equation because we can't take the natural log of a negative. x plus 1, it turns out, is also negative. And again, we can't take the natural log of a negative. So this equation actually has no solutions. So again, by assuming the equation does have a solution, you can find one, but you gotta make sure you check it in the original expressions, because sometimes, like in this case, the solution we find is extraneous. It doesn't actually work. Here in this last problem, we will again use our log properties, except instead of a log minus a log, we have a log plus a log. So instead of x plus 1 divided by x plus 5, we can rewrite this as a single log with multiplication, the natural log of x plus 1 times x plus 5. And on the right, of course, we still have the natural log of x minus 1. Now again, we use the one-to-one -one property. If the log of this equals the log of this, well, these two inputs must be equal. And so we have that x plus 1 times x plus 5, which is just this quadratic, equals x minus 1. Then we can subtract x from both sides and add 1 to both sides to get x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. Now, this is pretty easy to solve just by factoring. 3 and 2 multiply to 6 and add to 5, so we can factor this as x plus 3 times x plus 2. This is equal to 0, and so we find two potential solutions, x equals negative 3 and x equals negative 2. But again, we have to check these solutions in the original equation. Does x equals negative 3 make sense? Well, no, because negative 3 plus 1, for example, is negative, and we can't take the natural log of a negative number. What about negative 2? Well, that doesn't work either for the same exact reason. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative, and we can't go plugging that into the natural log function. So again, this equation has no solutions. But those are a few examples of solving natural log equations and the sort of strategies we need to use in these situations. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my pre-calculus course and pre-calculus exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about.